gospel of Jesus Christ is the solution to the woes of man. How much of it you know, determines how well you reign in life. Join us. At Shepherd's Love Worldwide, opposite top radio, Circle Accra, as the man of God, Apostle Johnsburg, takes us through sound teaching, and instruction in the word. Shepherd's Love Worldwide, making Christ prominent, in our generation. And now, yes, Jesus, the desire of the nations. Now, look at this. Jesus is the one that the nations desire, but they don't know they desire him. Jesus is the one that the nations are looking for, but they don't know they are looking for him. Whether or not they honor him, right? He is the desire, he is what the nations, what every nation is looking for is Jesus. But they don't know, some don't know. Many don't know that it is Jesus. One, last week, I began by giving you an example of the madman in the land of the Gadarenes. Were you in church? The madman in the land of the Gadarenes who was tormented by demons such that he, he wore no clothes, cut himself to, with stones. When they chained him, he tore the chains. And the Bible said he slept in the tombs because he couldn't stay with anyone. And the Bible said what? Jesus came to the land of the Gadarenes and the Bible said he ran to Jesus, knelt down, and the spirits that were in him said, Jesus, son of the living, what are you coming to do here? Why are you coming to torment us? And Jesus said, what is your name? They said, we are a legion. And I said, it's about 5,000 demons in one person. Man is large. See, nobody is useless. Man is large. Man is large. Man is large. Man is the biggest ram for the IT. Man is the biggest ram in the world. Biggest. Biggest. Not one terabyte, not two. If 5,000 demons can be in one person, but there's so many things can be in one person. Long story short, Jesus, they begged Jesus that let us go into what? The swine. The Bible said they ran there and they entered the lake and they all drowned. And I said, how many of such people do we have today that they are in the psychiatric hospital, right? And they are giving them what drip and strong medication. And they said they have what bipolar disorder. They have neuro something, something, something. When a situation like that arose in the scripture, we could see that truly Jesus is what everyone needs. Every situation needs Jesus. Yes. Yes. So, Jesus, the desire of the name. Let's look at a, a scripture in Mark chapter 1. St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 35 to 37. Mark chapter 1, verse 35 to 37. mark chapter 1 now in the morning having risen a long while before daylight he went out and departed to a solitary place and there he prayed jesus had a certain custom jesus savior of the world sometimes have you read the scripture and you wonder what was jesus praying about this savior of the world your savior my savior our savior he found a reason he said he woke up how long before this he woke up before morning will what arise what before sunlight will come you see i said many times when somebody's heart is not in anything that's when they give excuses yes give excuses you say, oh i can't do this i can't they say wake up at dawn and pray you say, oh, no 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 you mean me no me need time into me into me sorry and bomb by jesus woke up went you you have to sorry and be in your room to pray somebody sorry get out of his room went to a solitary place quiet place do you know how scary it is solid before daylight solitary picture it before daylight came on it means that it was still dark and the place was isolated imagine being an isolated dark place and this is jesus the savior of the world 
And this is Jesus, the Savior of the world. This is Jesus and the body of Christ. Oh, no. He said, ah, you are in church. Pastor says, oh, let Charlie, this time, like fasting is starting tomorrow. Learn to wake up. You will be shocked. You will be shocked that no matter the instruction, somebody I just cannot do it. But this same person is desirous of something. You say, ah, into woo, into, sometimes you want to say into woo, woo, you, like, what was your problem? This is how the thing works. It's not magic. It gives us a pattern to follow. Before daylight came, solitary place alone. Sometimes you quiet yourself. Sometimes your free time, your free days, your off days. It's not for plenty washing. Your off days, not when you gather all the dirty things in the house. Some of your off days when you prepare all the, all the meals in the house. You prepare this, you prepare that, you prepare so many things. You are cooking so many things. Well, the only thing you are not doing is cooking yourself, which really matters. To cook yourself, that's why you won't do it. But today I'm not talking about that. But because we have read it, I have to say it. Oh, yes. Yes. This year, dear, Tale, I feel that if you don't make up your mind, to see me, I'm desirous of change. Yes, I desire change in certain areas. Yes, I was having a conversation with you. Yes, I'm the Tali. You know that thing. Become most of us are in our thirties, so 30, 31, 32. 30, you, you'll be sure you'll be forty now. And you are still fooling. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be forty. And you are still giving excuses why you can't pray, why you can't fast. You'll be 40. You'll be 50. And those that give themselves time, when they are reaping the rewards of it, you say, oh, is it, maybe some way these people then, then go Benin. Then do da 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 Anyway, back here. So he went to a solitary place and there he prayed. Hey, Jesus. Jesus prayed, oh boy. Mamele, we have to pray. If Jesus prayed, oh, then the church must pray. Jesus prayed, though the church must pray. But let's continue to 37. That's not our topic. It's just by the way. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. They were looking for Jesus because he had woken up long before anybody would wake up. He sneaked out to go and pray. They were looking for him. Uh huh. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. They made a profound statement which is really the statement that the world is making. They are looking for Jesus but they don't know they are looking for him. Everyone is looking. It is a song. Everybody is looking for Jesus but they don't know. Jesus is the desire that all the nations have. But you see, they may not have realized it. Everyone is looking for you. They said it was a profound statement. Look at Haggai chapter 2. Haggai chapter 2. Let's read verse 7. Haggai chapter 2, 6 and 7. Sorry. Haggai chapter 2, 6 and 7. Everyone is looking for you. Everyone. I'm speaking on the topic Jesus, the desire of the nations. Everyone is looking for you. I said the nations may not acknowledge it. Men may not acknowledge him, but they are, he is the one they are looking, but they don't know. You see, there's somebody who thinks there are people that think that ah, you know, let's get more money. When we get more money, we'll feel accomplished. And they get the money and there's an emptiness in inside. They say, ah, let's do more innovations. They bring up more innovations and then there's an emptiness. The void in a man, only Jesus can feel it. Only Jesus can feel a void in anybody's heart. There's a void. There's something. Have you been, have you been in a situation where you felt like within you, okra eninji? You may be pretending on the outside, <laughs> but within you, can, there's something. Some, your soul needs something. Look, for thus says the Lord of hosts: Once more, it is a little while. I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land, uh -huh, 
and i will shake all nations the lord said it to he said i will shake all nations and they shall come look at this look here and they shall come and they shall come to the desire look at how he spelled to the desire of all that's jesus the old testament was talking about have you seen that desire of all nations it has been capitalized they didn't write it like the way the rest are written they will come where it was jesus that the scripture was referring to he's the desire of all nations he's the one that the nations desire you see without jesus in a man's life man is joking you are doing something you are trying something you are trying something yesterday at the wedding i preached i said that you see they received jesus willingly into their boat and suddenly their boat was where they were going he's the he's the, he said they will come where to the desire of all nations and i'll fill this temple with glory until they come there they are joking until men realize that oh tell it oh it, it be jesus with the needle this is what i tell you tell your friends about jesus tell your work colleagues about jesus tell your friends in the school about jesus the way we can talk about football as we are talking about food, we say, oh, Charlie, but I do you know Jesus? Who named Christo? Instead of gossiping and saying everybody hates you and da, 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 tell them about Jesus. There are so many opportunities around you to tell people about Jesus. Yes. He's the desire. The Bible calls him the desire. In Haggai 2.7, he, he said, the desire of all, not some nations, all nations, all nations desire Jesus. Look, look at look at what was said when he was born in saint luke's gospel luke chapter 2 verse 8 saint luke's gospel luke chapter 2 verse 8 to 14 until a man sees jesus he's joking yes so i keep telling you in church life doesn't begin at 40 they say life begins at 40 life doesn't begin at 40 life begins with knowing jesus life begins with finding jesus everyone is looking for you remember the statement everyone some don't even know he's the one they are looking for they think i'm looking for money something i'm looking for love i'm looking for peace i'm looking for this i'm looking by jesus you are looking for the desire of all not some nations look he said now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night uh -huh. and behold an angel of the lord stood by them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid uh -huh. then the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people this, this was never said at anybody's birth nobody was born and they said this about them nobody was born in this world and they said the, their birth will be a great joy to all people if 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 they even say something like this about someone it is for some people a joy to some people maybe a joy to his parents maybe a joy to ghana but it is only jesus that was born and they said his birth will be a great joy to all people to all people it's a great his birth is a great joy you see the birth of jesus is truly joy to the world joy to the world it's not just a, 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 a Christmas carol. It's the truth. His birth is a great joy to the whole world. Because he is the desire of the nations. He is what the nations are looking for. He is the one that makes every box of your life tick. Yes. That's what I keep telling you. If we can't dance about Jesus, they are singing about Jesus. You, start, you are standing like a statue. When you hear hey, 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 you, are, you, are, you are moving your leg they are singing about the desire of the nations 
they are singing about you want it's like you want, they should beg you to dance you will stand there like like a statue you can't move your when you hear where they party day to day you want to remove your neck when you hear what again the, the my favorite song ozi 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 ozana getting better when you hear, you move your neck like like you oh, now with you he said we say double double now you see some of you do you know the dance to every song I was, I was at the program they were singing they said my head he no fee to collect they were doing like this he no fee to go my head he did for my head and they were, they were tying something here I don't know what they were tying but here car they are singing about Jesus they have lifted hands you are glorious lift you you don't understand why he's glorious or if it's glorious does it concern you or they are saying it say say don't worry a time will come when when this world is gone when this world is over and we all stand before jesus you know what i say say you know and you know you go and stand there you, when you stand before the throne you you put your pocket and say oh yeah it be me this who that oh it be me <laughs> you'll be shocked <laughs> you'll be shocked nobody knows say, actually act hey, yeah cut christ to wants him some people you look like a disgrace for them that hey hey Charlie, the way i deceive i'll be i'll be gentle pa, the way i hey. i said me i used to do that in shs so when somebody is doing it's like an like life i mean oh shs when the, you are standing with a lady be that you like and they say jesus you then you just pocket and you stand there now with your gentle right now the lady and whatever should clear up when he was giving my life a meaning where were you he gave me an instruction and i've seen i've seen the the joy that is in him I've seen that ah this is what I, I, I was looking for and now you see i'm i'm discovering that thing in him when they say jesus I, mean, I don't care about who is there if i want to kneel down oh forget by god's grace if i want to kneel down who is there who is there, who didn't do what Charlie, big man that one will be your own problem david dance they said david the man because we have a god he got a dance he said, ah, but on him when I was as he he can also respect you. Hey, man. Osan can respect you. Oh, he now we yes. Oh, we oh, we can't join life with this. Look, he said, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good. You see, the birth of Jesus is good tidings. We have to always thank God that Jesus came always thank god that so when we are singing say yes like if jesus, what would what would have happened to man if jesus didn't come what would have been the story of the world if jesus didn't come this is the story we have to tell this is a story tell the untold about jesus look good tidings of great joy which will be to people next verse For there is born to you this day in the city of David a savior who is Christ the Lord. Uh -huh. And this will be the sign to you. Uh -huh. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. Uh -huh. And sad, you know, most of this scripture is just Carol's night. When they say, let's get her for the eighth lesson. And they read it. So when they are done, they are now saying, hallelujah. Ha. So you, your mind doesn't even go to the scriptures. Your mind doesn't even go to the truth. Of the, it's just a Carol. You they get her for the eighth lesson. Hallelujah. But a seminar, a car, and there, you do nothing. And suddenly there was with 
the angel a multitude of heavy, a heavenly hosts praising God and saying look at what they said glory to God in the highest and on earth peace oh it is only Jesus that this was said about Jesus that Jesus the desire of the nations truly it is his birth it is Jesus that brings peace peace peace, peace perfect peace he says and on earth peace UN can't handle the world though. UN United Nation oh the world is too big for UN what controls the, the universe is bigger than UN it's bigger than the, their office at where the Hague or wherever it is in Switzerland it's bigger than their office yes so what UN assumes as peace is that there is no war but there may be no war, but there's no peace. <laughs> you see, so peace is not the absence of war. Yes. There's no war in a certain country I know. In a certain country that I know. There's no war. But when you go on the streets and engage, you see there's no peace. <laughs> in a certain country, there's no war. Nobody has taken a gun, nothing, nothing. But when you engage the people on the streets you will see that this one is look on at peace and then what good will toward men good will this is what jesus brought he brought peace he brought good will good will good will good this is what the world is looking for but they don't know the world is looking for peace the world is looking for good will but they don't know and it's only Jesus that gives this. Let, let's look at another scripture. He will. He will. He will. Look at Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1. Let's read verse 15 to 17. Jesus, the desire of all the nations. <laughs> Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 to 17 colossians the bible says he is the image of the invisible god can we read can we read the the, the msg the msg you see for a man's life to take he must know jesus for things to work out you must know jesus you must get to know jesus the other day i was even telling you that the quality of your life is improved with the knowledge of jesus when you know jesus your quality of life is improved yes when you know jesus the quality of your life is improved look he says we look at this son and see the god who cannot be seen we look at this son and see god's original purpose in everything created you see if you don't know jesus you are living a purposeless life life without purpose yes he says when we see him we see the purpose <laughs> for which everything was created this is a desire of the nations he said oh, we don't really do we, let's do this when we do this we will find some fulfillment they do it and they say, no for let's try another thing no fulfillment let's try they are looking for him but they don't know they are looking for him everyone is looking for you these were the words of peter everyone will be as you shall you see there's there's no one jesus jesus never went to school jesus was never a teacher he never went to school there's no one on earth with many books written about him than jesus he was never a medical doctor there's no one there's no one being praised for healing than jesus yes jesus never went to a recording studio to say yeah mommy beat roll it They start playing the they start playing the thing. You say super, super, roll it. Then you see the drama. Super. No, but there is no one with more songs about him than Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Look, we look at this sun and see God's original purpose in everything created. So there's an original purpose in things. Yes. If you don't see it, that's when you begin to do the fake one. 
You need to your own thing. That's why in the will of God there is a good, there is an acceptable, and then there is a perfect, perfect will. Perfect will. Next verse, please. For everything, absolutely everything, above and below, visible and invisible, rank after rank after rank of angels. Everything God started in him. Everything what? Remember the everything we are talking about. Everything above and below. You see, one day I told you that what, what the Bible calls the end of the world is, is likened to when we were children and the ball owner will come with his ball to the park. And he chooses the team. If he, he chooses his own team. So mostly he'll choose all the best players. If the ball is for you, say, Charlie, this guy, come and play. If you are not really, if daddy are not in his good books, you say, no, no, you, let's say they ask you for food, you didn't give me, so don't come and play. Go and sit down. And we can be playing when he's annoyed, he can catch his ball and say, it's okay. The ball owner. Ball right, Ajene ball. It means that the match is over. And we have to be begging him that, oh, boss, oh, Charlie, Charlie, oh, let's play small. Then you, you'll be holding the ball as if he's so accomplished. <laughs> you'll be holding the ball like it's an accomplishment. He will hold the ball and cross the line. No, 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 no match. To he determines the thing. What what the Bible calls the end of the age is God taking His world. Simple. No, no, no. Story. Nobody can say, "Oh, but what if?" Oh, actually, oh, boss, oh, oh. Yes, it's okay. This is the time. Yes, he just he just fold His world. If He's going to roll it like how the media teams roll their cable, He's just rolling everything. Say it's okay. It's okay. Japan. You know, you go for a party, they are singing, say, it's okay. This is the last song. MC Peso, Jane, Mike. MC Peso, Jane, Mike. Those is when, when they want to end everything. They now say, yay, 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 yay. Full stop. May to me, Gina, comma. Then we have closed. It is, God, it is God taking his wealth at the end of the age. Yes. Look. Look at it. He said, everything above and below above and below visible and invisible the things you can see the things you can't see <laughs> rank after rank after rank of angels everything God started in him and finds its purpose in him everything God started in him and finds its purpose in him you see, if, if a man is alienated from Jesus, he, he, he's worrying himself. He's attempting to live. <laughs> he's attempting. It's an attempt. It's an attempt. He's trying to do something. But for a man to truly live, he must know him. He must know him. He must know him. He must, must know Jesus. You must know Jesus. I told you, somebody said, no Jesus, no life. N O Jesus N O life. Me, I say K N O W Jesus K N O life. No Jesus. Know him and get to know what life really is. Look, because everything got started in him and finds it. Do you want to do you want to live anyhow? Do you want to say, ah, I just passed through the world. No, there are many who are passing through the world because they have not come to the desire of the nations. That actually, it is you. Do you know the fulfillment the shepherds felt when they went and they saw it? people were seeing a baby? They were seeing the desire for the whole world. They were seeing a ah, baby there. Oh, like like they were seeing baby like like Bubune. You see Bubune, you say ah Bubune. They say oh, oh, oh. Akola, King Gos in the say Akola. But the shepherds actually came, knelt down, brought gifts. Baby. Baby. They presented gold. You think they don't, they, they don't have sense? They presented gold. Frankincense. Charlie? And on, on top, he was not in a certain hotel or something. He was in manger. Jesus is the man the whole world is looking for. But they don't know they are looking for him. And Jesus is the man when you find you begin to have a life with purpose. He said, Everything finds everything started in him and finds its purpose in him. Next verse. 
I'll be closing soon. Amen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there before any of it came into existence. He was there. He was there before any of it came into existence. And holds it all together. And holds it all together right up to this moment. Let's, let's read the Amplified for verse 17. Amplified for verse 17. Amplified verse 17. Look, is that? And he himself existed and is before all things. And in him, all things all together. You see, one day people will go to heaven and they will be looking for Jesus on a small throne. And they will be looking for the Father on a big throne. And they say, ah, Hey, they see when, when they see this, Jesus is not small boy and big. You don't know Jesus is God. When you read the scriptures, pa, only the scriptures, you will see that God, 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 God. It is Jesus. Yes, yes, Jesus is fully God. <laughs> In fact, listen to me. Jesus is God's best man and man's best God. <laughs> David called him the Tower of the Flock. Jesus is God's best man and man's best God. Yeah. Nobody could represent God like Jesus. Jesus is fully God. Jesus, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you don't know how to, but Jesus is God. I, I, I well, <laughs> he's God. Look, look, he said, and in him all things hold together. In him, how many things? You see, the reason why you think your marriage will work because you send good night messages. You think that your, your relationship is working because you say, cut the call, don't cut. Let me cut. You two cut. Cut it. Don't cut it. Have you bathed? Have you eaten? All things in him, all things hold together. So if it's your career, it will hold in Jesus. If it's your finances, it will hold in him. If it's your business, if it, whatever it is, all things. All things. So Jesus is the super glue of the world. That's that's the look at look. He said, "He is the controlling, cohesive force of the universe." The reason why the reason why they, they will tell you in geography that there is a sun, there is a moon, and all that, and then there are planets revolving, and they are not on anything, but they are not falling down. It's because of Jesus. Jesus is that force. Yes, they say Jesus is the centripetal and the centrifugal force. Yes, that's the truth. When you read the scripture, you see that scientists will try to discover, but they, what they don't know is that there's somebody. All things are held because of Him. Yes. In fact, Hebrews one he said He upholds everything by the word of His power. You see, there is a God who our God is not an apprentice who. Job was doing to Uno. He came to me and said, hey, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? When I told the sea, that's how far you can come. There's, because, because, because a word has been spoken, and those of you that live around the sea, that's why it, like, on a normal day, it doesn't come to your house. It hits and goes back. It, it, something has been spoken to it, and the sea can hear. The, hey, everything in this world can hear God's voice. Yes, everything in creation. So if they be there when you say let's pray, so oh, me their prayer, yeah, prayer. You only use your mouth to eat and give plenty excuses and say I love you, I can see it. Yes, this year when you when you are checking yourself, you look at what you sit down and see. Say, ah, you will see that where your energy, your time, your money goes. Pa, when you start evaluating, you see that no inside of my life, I yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Me, I sat down last week. I took my pen. I took my book. I began to evaluate some things. And I said, oh, no, you have to sit up. Anointing alone is not enough. You have to sit up. You have to face the work. You have to get to know this man. Get to know him. You see, Paul knew the man wrote a lot of things about him. And he said, that I may know him. I said, oh, this <laughs> You say, ah, so you didn't know him when you wrote all these things you wrote this thing that I'm reading here and you now say that I may know him all things 
in him all things hold together he is the controlling cohesive force of the universe jesus is the reason why things will take things will come together i said he's the super glue of the world you bind everything together so so imagine that imagine that you know this man and you want your relationship to work ah, in him all things hold. he can hold your relationship he can hold your mind he can hold your mind so your mind will always at peace always be at peace always be at peace let me give you a last scripture and i can close yes somebody is saying something there but jesus is the, the force and even 19 and 20 let's read 19 and 20 and then i think we can close 19 and 20 let's read it in the msg i like the msg 19 and 20 verse 19 and verse 20 so spacious is he jesus oh he's what the other day i was talking to you in church and i said that if the whole world were to believe in jesus today there will be space for everybody have you not seen even in the physical universe of god the sky is so big for every bed have you seen birds doing plane no, no, i don't use a plane bed crash plane crash is human it's a new it's a human invention but i mean like birds you see that the eagle went and went to crash the, have you seen it before? bed crash like there's space for every bed yes there's there's space for so many stars in the galaxy of god you don't need somebody's star to go down for your own to rise that thing is an african mentality they said they want to blow somebody's candle off so that your own will shine oh you are not serious you see that that somebody is going in a certain way does not mean you are feeling yes <laughs> that somebody is doing well does not mean you are feeling God was with Joseph, but he went to prison. Read your Bible. God was with him. Oh. Ha! And, and on top of it, he had, he had run. Potiphar's wife wanted to do something with him. He ran. And he should be promoted instantly for doing the right thing. But for doing the right thing, he went to prison. <laughs> for doing the right thing, oh, he went to prison. But it didn't mean God was not with him. God was with him. And he was in prison for so many years. We didn't hear of him again until something came and he, God's time was up. Imagine that he was in prison and was complaining. Ah! 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 Maybe one day, one day, maybe after two years in prison, say, Ah! If I knew, I should have done it. <laughs> then you now call, you now call the boss, Frepoji Fahiri Nimame. Next week, you're visiting, man. Doing the right thing. You know. So sometimes it's not every just like, oh the things are not going. No. God was with him. He was in prison. God was with him. Then Brennan swear. Brennan and swear. It is always like when you read your Bible word, it's always like before God will do something, something will come and tempt you. Yes, something will tempt you. It looked like, oh, God will raise you, make you big. But what if his wife was closest to the husband, right? obviously she can tell the husband that oh this guy is a good guy favor him and he'll be favored so it looked like this was easy promotion for the guy but the guy said no and because of saying no he went to prison they, she now lied they, they took him to prison and you know what god did after he came out many many years in prison we didn't hear of him again when he came out he became the second it means that he became potiphar's boss yes if he was the second he became potiphar was his, yes sir and I'm sure you may, and I'm sure Joseph may have looked at and said, You, your wife lied on me. <laughs> if some of you were Joseph, you would have called Potiphar to the office. If some of you were Joseph, you would have called Potiphar one day to the office when nobody is there. And you cross your leg and be hitting your pen on the table and say, You, and call the wife too. Come with your wife. And say, Do you remember what you did? Do you remember? I'll crush you. <laughs> <laughs> like a Nigerian film. I'm sure the wife will be there. She couldn't look at him. She will not be able. I'm, I'm, I'm creating a scene. You know. <laughs> Director Johnsberg. I'm creating a scene. And the keyboard is going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, that, that's why they give. Hmm, hmm, with, a, with a longer sustain. Hmm. And Potiphar's wife is like this. Couldn't look. Say, my friend, raise your head. 
Do you remember you li you lied on me? So you see, many people are trying to prove a point. You see, but when you when you read scripture, by you see that everything happens for our good. There's no need. Oh, he he did it. Oh, don't worry, it's good. One day somebody came to me and said, "This person said, oh, you you are not from God.'" I said, "Oh, they are not coming to say it. This one he has not said anything." You small time. You let me be serious. God will help me. You will see that. You will see that the latest thing is that oh, this guy is not from God. Oh, this guy is when he's talking. The way he does his hand is a sign. It's a sign in the, they have things they can say. Oh. They have things. They have things they can say. One day I, I traveled to a place. I prophesied so much that I look like ah, this young guy is able to prophesy like this. They say, Oh, it's the glass that I'm wearing, and it's the, the thing on my hand. I said, Okay, brother, come. Brother, wait. Brother, wait. Hold the microphone. <laughs> Abby is the thing, so I've given it to you. Yes. Yes. I'm sure he would have crossed his leg in the office. Back to the, the scene. He would have crossed his leg in the office. <coughs> if you were Potiphar, if you were Joseph. But I was, <coughs> you will make sure when nobody is around. So that you can show that now you to your ogre. God hasn't left men to spite other men. No matter what has gone on. In spite of what has gone on. God does not lift men to spite other men. In spite of what has gone on. Yes, I'm sure he will be he will hitting his pen. You know the the, the pen, ka, 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 and look at him and say, hey, Potiphar. And I'm sure now because he's boss, you will now be using the hand on the Potiphar. <laughs> Potiphar. And now look at Mrs. Potiphar. You lied on me because of you. Do you know what it means? Maybe he may have gone to prison for 15 years. Oh, because of you, my life 15 years in prison. Because of you, because you lied, <laughs> because you lied on me 15 years like that, gone. Do you know what I could have done in 15 years? And you me, my boy, my me pose you, Yanka. Can I save my life? That's what you would have done. Like, can I save my life for 15 years? Eh? Can 15 be a my wife, my wife? My first born was 13. So they are wire me. You would have done that. Like, if you see, if you allow your emotions. You always try to prove a point. You always try to pay people back. Try to complain. Try to do no, no, no. That's not the way of Christ. That's why I told you in one of our teachings, the greatest, in fact, the strongest man is a man of love. We have no ministry until we walk in love. We have no ministry. We have no ministry. Do you know Jesus could have done anything on the cross? They, they were daring him. They were saying, "If you are the, come down." Hey, Jesus. They were there. If you are the savior, go calm down. It was too easy for him to do. This man made a lame walk. He could have just come down like that and everything would be okay. To just prove that, yes, yeah, I have him a call back. Sambo me view. No. But he didn't do that. They, imagine people you have, all things were made through him. People you have made, they are teasing you. How many of you can take it? People you have made. People, you, are, you made small bridal fun. It was not working. Well. You destroyed it. <laughs> you destroyed it. You know how something can frustrate you? Yeah. And you just hit it. The, the TV remote. You stood on it. Look. So spacious is he. So roomy. There's enough room. There's enough space in Jesus for the whole world. Look. That everything of God finds its proper place. Your proper place is in Jesus. Yes, the proper place for your for your mind, for your finances, for everything that bothers your health. Everything finds its proper place in here without crowding. Speaking of